belts. They, they drive me mad giving out belts and stuff. Yeah. I, if if it was down to me, I'd fucking get rid of them all. What you get rid of belts? I'd get rid of belts, or maybe at best, I'd probably just have no belts and a black belt. Once you get good and 10, 12, whatever it is, once you're black belt, you're black belt. Until then, you're just an apprentice. Yeah. You know, because it creates, and I don't care what anyone says, it creates, I want my blue, but people want these goals all the time, mm -hmm. these little goals. And I get that to a point, but it's also, it's like you try to get a goal, try to get a goal, try to get a goal. It's like, it's like the guy that wanted a million pound. You give him a million pound. Now what? I want another million pound. Yeah. Where does that end? Do you know? So you've got to enjoy the journey. That's the most important thing. If you're not enjoying the journey, if you're not enjoying what you do, that's what gets you good. Like Man, enjoying I'm, I'm you completely do. fucking addicted. I say to Paul all the time, I am fully, I've never been so addicted to it. You do a nine to five, right? You do a nine to five job and then like, and then you want to go train. It's like, ultimately, you will get tired of that hmm. unless you enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. And it's the enjoyment and the, and the social aspect it comes along with that and the friends and the, and the camaraderie and mm -hmm. stuff like that but the whole belt thing is like it's not so much in some gyms now but it used to be so bad but like oh a blue belt and everybody's jolting to get their position for their blue belt right and then they get it and it's like now they've set this like stepping stone for themselves this plat platform for themselves that no oh, no white belt must ever beat me and they sort of then you can create a dynamic where everyone's like got this ranking order where they can sort of look down on each other or look up to each other and everyone's pushing out of the way. Fuck all that shit. Like, who gives a shit? Enjoy what you do. Enjoy losing. Like, if you can enjoy losing because losing is what teaches you to get better, if you can do that and it's hard, that's, what, that's what's going to propel you to, to excel quicker than everyone else, you know? Mm. But, you know, now I'm a blue belt. I can't get beat by a white belt. So... When they start to get good, it's like, shit, shit, shit. What do you do? You go back to the guy that turned up to the gym making excuses up for himself. Right, right yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's all bullshit. It's all ego bullshit. And it needs, you need to get rid of that. So for me, that I have, with my gym, I have a certain thing that I set up through my one-on-one -on -one sessions and all that. that I, I try to extract that as soon as possible. But if, if ultimately, if it's down to me, I would probably just get rid of the belts. Then they... Um doesn't like the B team boys. Obviously, they do no gi, but they. I think Craig Jones was saying something really similar the other day, saying like, just fucking chuck belts away. Yeah, well, Nicky Rod's like, still brown belt technically, isn't he? I think. Um, yeah, so yeah, 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 just just get rid of them. Clearly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but no, it's an interesting point though because I, if I if I'm honest, certainly in my twenties, I think outside of jujitsu, I didn't have much else going on. So being a blue belt at the time was so important to me because it was like my identity. And like Kenny already kind of mentioned it about. You know, and I think you asked a question about do people become like this thing? Yeah. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I was a bit of a loser, but I was a blue belt in jiu-jitsu and was cage fighting. So that was my identity. And then I got injured, couldn't train. And then you suddenly have to figure out something else that is your identity. Um, and I think sometimes people do get wrapped up in that. And, and that's why it, it puts pressure on you too. And it's just yeah. like, it hinders your growth. So I see some people, some people come in and they are just so naturally like adapt to being good at it. They just have mm. a bunch of things that collide together well and they, they'd learn like it, very yeah. well and they get good very quickly. And I've made the mistake myself. I was saying something like, like I, I would give guys a belt because they're so good. I'd give them, like, they got to blue belt level and I'll give them that belt. But the problem is because they haven't actually served the same amount of time that, like you normally would. They've got good really quickly and they're not stupid. Like everyone's looking at them thinking, wow, you're really good. And people blow smoke up their ass or like, you know, they win a few tournaments and stuff. Now they've got their blue belt very quickly. And it's like, uh, it cre can create your own little ego inside yourself. When, that's, when that happens, everyone else is going to get better eventually. Everyone below you is going to get better. And as that starts to creep up, it's like, they fucking, they can't handle it. They're like, oh shit, shit, shit. And they're starting to get annoyed or they roll a little bit more angrily or they, they they have little hissy fits and stuff when they're training. And they forgot what got them fucking good in the first place. They were probably humble as hell and they just enjoyed playing around and, and rolling for the sake of it. But as soon as someone starts blowing smoke up their ass. So I've made that mistake where I've given them about too early and, I, and it's sort of, it's hindered their own growth then. So I'm, I'm a lot more, hard on giving belts out like that now and I always based on two things performance and attitude um, but the attitude overrides the performance so you know if, even if someone's fucking amazing I won't give them the belt if they're an asshole 
Yeah. It's that simple. Because not only are you going to continue that, because one day you're going to teach this, you know, hopefully. One day you'll continue and you'll, you'll pass this amazing art to someone. you got to do it in the right way. So it's like, you're going to go off and then teach them what the way you are with your ego. Like, it's not going to happen. Not not under my yeah. banner, do you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Uh, but at the same time, I've seen some people now, they, they serve their time on it and they're probably not quite there yet, but I'd rather give them the next belt if their attitude is on point and they're training correctly and they're not training with their ego and they're helping everyone else out and they're being a team player. Do you ever change um, like who you give belts to based on whether they're like a hobbyist or like a competitor? Yeah, I think so. It's not hard as well. Like I was thinking this a while back, um, it really, I think there should be two belt systems if they're going to do them, one for competitors and one for people that more yeah. like maybe coaching based more. Yeah. But it's like, you got to be one or the other. You got to be like, more of, you got to bring something to the table okay so you're either competing or you're able to help your team members mm -hmm. you, you you're able to coach show them things work with them do you know what i mean so it's one or the other and, and i also don't believe in like i'm not so fussed about blue uh purple brown so much but i'm harder on brown and, and then black but not everyone's going to get to brown not everyone's going to get to black the, even if they train for 15 years i don't believe you should get it just on time served that's what I was about to say to you. So is there situations where people get to like brown belt and then you think, oh, do you know what? I'll never see, you know, maybe giving this person a fucking black belt or it's going to take yeah. a long time. Yeah, I, I do. You know, you know what I mean? But, but you don't, you, I mean, I mean, it's just your own little thoughts, isn't it? But like, they, you know, they could prove you wrong and I hope they do. But it's like, some people just aren't, listen, I wanted to be a fucking rocket scientist. It's, it's not going <laughs> to happen. Do you know what I mean? Some people don't pass every qualification. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It's the same here. So why are we giving things away? Because all you're going to do is water the sport down. You know, you're only yeah. going to water it down. Um, and ultimately, they're representing you in, or me in the 20 years that I put into something. That's, that's, what, that's what I was about to say. So like in a lot of sports, obviously, you have no like belts or anything like that. So Yeah, but blue belt and boxing. You what? I'm blue belt and boxing. Is that a thing, is it? No. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I'm a black iron boxer, maybe, but <laughs> yeah. I don't <laughs> Yeah, but like, what I mean by it is, is like, you get some people who play football. Someone can play football from the age of five to 35 and be pretty shit at it the whole time. See what I mean? And it can be the same in jiu-jitsu, isn't it? You obviously got higher leveled people and then you've got obviously people that are low level. Yeah. And then to get a black belt really it should be not on time served on how good you are and how much no. you can pass on that information. But I, the only difference I think about these days is the, the time does have to be served though. Yeah, no, no, I, I don't yeah, mean that. Uh, yeah, no, 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 you're saying, know, I'm, just, I'm just saying like, I didn't used to think that so much. I'm like, if somebody oh, right. got to a blue belt within eight months because of that good, yeah, I, I changed my mind now because it's not just the fact that okay, they can perform to a blue belt or they can yeah. compete. But I think there's a lot of maturity that has to come along with those stages mm -hmm. as well. And uh, every time I've sort of given that belt out to the point where, because they perform well and they're at that level, but they're not mature enough for that time they haven't served, it's been det detrimental to them mm -hmm. uh, in the long run. <laughs>